So this video is about mechanical advantage of the bench vise. So in our, on our bench vise, um, we can just go back to that same equation that we did in a previous video, where we're, we, to calculate the mechanical advantage, we need to know what the effort is, um, and then we multiply that by our effort distance, and then we are going to um, make that our load times uh, our load distance. Now, there's a few subtle differences between this and the pulley question that we did previously. In the pulley question, it was there was a drum and then there was a, a handle that came off and then we were looking at it as our effort distance was the length of the handle and then the load distance was from the center of the of the winch pulley to the other side. So this was our load and this here was our effort arm. So to kind of look at the effort, we, the effort is pretty straightforward because it's actually on the handle. So the handle is how much force we're actually going to be applying on here. So if I grab this handle and I start cranking on my vise, um, how far it is. But so the effort is just a straight up pound. So if I was just a regular strength person, and let's say I put 50 pounds of effort on here, but the part that's a little bit different here is the effort distance. So here this in this drawing, the, the handle is kind of half retracted, but let's say it was ex extended all the way around. The effort distance isn't the distance from the end of the handle to here. The effort distance is actually the distance that this handle travels all the way around and back to the beginning. So to find that, we just have to figure out what the radius is here. And then we have to um, multiply it by two to find a diameter. And then the circumference or the, the distance that this travels is just, um, is just your basic circumference equals pi times diameter. So if the radius, let's say that the radius of the handle on this is uh, six inches, okay? So there are, let's say it's a six inch radius, so it's, uh, uh, the diameter would be 12 inches and pi. So that would equal, so the circumference and the distance that we travel is gonna be equivalent to 37.68 inches. That's how far it goes all the way around. So we'll plug that in for our effort distance. Now for the load distance, this one is a little bit simpler. Um, the load distance it's, is a distance that it, we take one, one turn of the handle. The load distance is how far this movable jaw of our vise how far the movable jaw of our vise travels in to, towards the fixed jaw. And the answer to that would be whatever one pitch. So that's one pitch of the, of the, um, of the screw that's inside of there. So if we looked at the Acme thread inside of our, of our vise, and let's say one turn, it moves a quarter inch. So for our load distance for that, it's gonna be, let's say it's 0.25. Right, and then the load is what we're trying to figure out. So there's a really, really massive. Um, this is what I, I always tell students: is when you go into the vice and the shop and you put some device, you don't have to give it everything you're worth. A lot of times, just a very simple pull on that handle will give you a huge amount of clamping force. So let's look at that. If we use 50 pounds of force on a 12-inch handle all the way around, and the screw or our, our movable moves 25 or 0.25 of an inch, we'll divide this side by 0.25, and we'll divide this side by 0.25. And let me grab my trusty calculator. So when I plug this all in, what I end up with, I go 50 times 37.68 and divide it by 0.25. What ends up, what I end up as a number is actually 7,536 pounds of force. That's our load. So that's an incredible magnification of force. And that's a lot of crushing force that we can put on with a 12 inch vise with just 50 pounds of, of pull on it. So um, what is the mechanical advantage? The mechanical advantage would be the load divided by um, our effort, our, our 50. Okay, so if we take 7,536 and we divide it by 50, we have a mechanical advantage here of 150.7 to 1. 
which is a huge mechanical advantage. So again, respect device, don't crush things, don't go crazy, don't bend the device handles, you don't need to.